Hey guys, what's up? Um, so today I am going to show you how to fix the issue with fuel pooling on top of the fuel pump on a 1980 Saab 900 turbo. So, um, what happened is we had to change the uh, fuel pump bellows, which is actually what goes down in the sump in the fuel tank to pick up the fuel, bring it up through here. So what's going on is occasionally the, the little coppers, like what I have on this new bolt, as you can see they've, they've got like a little bit of rubber in them, just right in the center. So occasionally that'll just like wear out completely and it, it just, it leads to fuel accumulating in this upper, upper rubber piece. So I'm going to show you how to fix that today. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a couple of 17 millimeter wrenches. As you can see, you got two 17 millimeters. So what you're going to do is you're going to take and unplug both of the wires just to prevent any fuel from getting on them and corroding the uh, connections there. And you can just sort of tuck them off to the side like that. And then you're going to want to put the shorter one there, the longer one here, and just crack it loose like that, and you should just be able to hand turn it the rest of the way out. Alright, and just like that. And show you guys here. This doesn't even have the proper coppers on it. These are just standard, you know, coppers that aren't going to have very much sealing properties at all. So we can just basically throw those away. So what you're going to want to do next is take your new one, just like this. You're going to want to make sure that it fits, which it should because I took this off of a fuel pump from a 1981 turbo. And basically you just got to wiggle it on there until it seals nice and good. So you got it on the top there and now on the bottom. Then all you got to do is you're going to want to start this by hand, get it as tight as you can, just hand turning it, and make sure that you don't have any cross threading here. Show you guys what I'm doing. Alright, and then you just take this. You turn it just a little bit more, and you just want to snug it up. You don't want to over tighten it because that'll lead to damage in the coppers, and that is not good at all. So that's how you do it. And all you got to do next is just make sure that you soak up all of the fuel that is just laying in here. So you get a nice absorbent rag, just sort of pack it in there for, oh, we'll say 30 seconds or so, and come back when that's happened. Alright, and as you can see, got all the fuel soaked up, it's just in this rag. Alright, and then what you're going to want to do, just to ensure that it's making a tight seal, is you just want to put that back on there, just crack it loose, and re-tighten it, and there you go, that is all it takes to do that, then you just want to come on back, make sure that you have the black going to the negative side of the terminal, which usually you can see right there as you can see 
So we will hook the positive, which on this car it is the white line, onto the positive. And the black, which is always going to be your ground. See if I can get it there. All right. And just make sure that's on there nice and firm. And there you go. That is how you fix the leak on a fuel pump for a early Saab 900 turbo. So this is going to apply to, I believe, 79 to 84. It's when they switch fuel pump types. And then it also applies to the later models of the Saab 99. So all in all, that's all it takes. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, also consider liking the video and subscribing as it'll help out my channel a great deal. And it will lead to improvements with the car eventually. So all in all, have a nice one, guys.